This is why I say I am the Phalaenopsis King, darling. I am the Phalaenopsis King! I love me a cakey and I love me a mini. So, as you can see, I'm going to just give you a closer look real quick. This is um, the orchid that I got back in September 2019. It has done absolutely nothing. I tried to mount it and it was non-receptive to it. I had it in that pot right here, which is a closed container, but it has the, um, the orchid hose at the bottom of it. It was unresponsive. So I have now repotted it into something that is more ventilated. And I am going to start using my secret recipe on it to see if it will get out of dormancy. This phalaenopsis right here was given to me um, at my doctor's office. I saw the baby in there and they said, hey, we know that you take care of orchids. Um, can you bring this baby back to life? Um, she has not produced any leaves. She has lost one leaf. As you can see, that setback leaf letting you know um, that she was in my care. Um, but she has really um, take, taken hold to this pot. Um, she had to be repotted because she was doing very well. That's a root down there. Um, that's a root right there. So she's very, um, that's a root right there. She's very established in this pot. So I'm hoping one day soon she will give me a new leaf and get back to her natural growing cycle. If you guys don't know, this is my Phalaenopsis Diva, little diva. She was given to me by a fair pal Blanca. And um, as you can see, she is doing just fine. She lost all of her roots after I had attempted to put her in a wooden basket and have her growing outdoors. She lost all of her roots and then she started to produce roots, but then she bloomed for me. So I had to cut the flower spike. And this leaf right here is set back, but I'm hoping that it's still growing. But she's definitely still growing roots. Um, all of these orchids right here. Well, let me just start with this one. Um, this is another orchid that was given to, be, to me by my orchid society. This is also another orchid that I am leaving inside of the pot to see what will happen. And as you can see, a lot of new root production. So this is a happy Phalaenopsis orchid, even though the media isn't the best. So I'm very glad that I did not go ahead and repot her. Now she has not grown any leaves and although this leaf is set back, it was already like this when I received it. Now if you guys don't know why the leaves of Phalaenopsis orchid was split like this, I will leave a video link ab um, above, baby. But the rest of these variegated Phalaenopsis orchids were given to me, not given to me, I purchased them from um, a grower on eBay that is in Florida. And um, she gave me like three of these for um, $10, $15. So incredible prices can be found on eBay, but you have to know um, that seller. You have to be familiar with how their return policy is and all things of that sort. Now I have videos to purchase orchids from eBay as well, but she is actively growing, doing just fine. Doing just fine. This baby right here, doing just fine. Doing just fine with the variegated leaves. Now I have um, some orchids that I'm also experimenting with putting the limestones in because it's also um, a source of nutrients that's organic. Now we will get to that, we will get to that. I'm still doing my research on it, but once I have it all down pat to break it all the way down, I definitely will let you guys know. But wouldn't it be so cool if that little root stuck to that rock? That would be so cool. And um, this orchid right here is a big juicy baby. I don't think her leaves are going to be set back. She is producing this leaf, active root growth, a lot of leaves on the plant. So I will be looking for a rebloom for, from her probably in the summertime. That's probably a summer bloomer. And um, this Phalaenopsis right here. And as you can see, the pots are getting more consistent as um, as this is my permanent setup for orchids that I'm not experimenting with. I just repotted this one. She lost a leaf um, from the stress of the repot, but she, I am very hopeful that she is going to do just fine. 
okay she's going to do just fine no um nothing growing right now but like i said i'm sure she will be just fine so welcome back we are still showing my orchid phalaenopsis orchid collection um in t january 2020 keeping you guys updated showing you the proof in the pudding this is my other cakey that i received from a fail pal at my orchid society here in alabama and um this leaf is just phenomenal she was doing phenomenally outside but inside being mounted is just not going to be able to sustain her um anytime that she would grow any new roots um they would just stop once it got out of the moss it would just stop but she has been um producing leaves and i have dropped her i broke the leaf when i dropped her the first time she has really been through, but she is doing just fine. She isn't losing leaves, if anything. I'm just damaging her by the miscare that I have given her. But I am going to take her off of this mount one day soon and start growing her in a pot because I love her so much. Stay tuned. My Sogo Yenlin Coffee. Okay, she is really a problem child. I have been trying to save and revive her since I purchased this baby back in um, May of 2019 from Redlands and honey if you don't see her on my next update video I have given her to someone I hate I now this is the only mounted phalaenopsis orchid that I am thinking of um, leaving mounted and that's only because um, she has the active growing tips I'm trying to get a good view for you you see she got the active growing um, root tips I don't believe she has attached to the wood just yet. Um, now you can see she has a new leaf coming out. Now all of this um, discoloration on the leaves and stuff like that, that's for a future video, but it was absolutely my cause, me being a sloppy waterer. So please stay tuned, honey, stay tuned. Now, these two babies right here are some phalaenopsis that was given to me from um, um, content creators here on YouTube. This one right here, this beautiful, juicy, delicious, gorgeous, beautiful, sexy Phalaenopsis right here was given to me by Fal Pal Brian. His channel is called Artwork and Beekeepings. He makes art and he draw, he um, keeps bees. Okay, very great channel here in Alabama. This one right here was given to me by Fal Pal Blanca back in the summer of last year. Um, you guys have seen the update video of her already. Um, she has not done anything. She was very sickly. So we're hoping that if I give her a repot, a juice, if you will, that she will start back growing for me. This is one of my, or at least right now, um, I don't have, um, the, she's not in bloom, but she, I will leave a video link above if I can. But this is actually the same Thalanopsis as my other um, orchid called Betty and they have the most beautiful phalaenopsis blooms you have ever seen darling All right, so last but definitely not least is going to be the phalaenopsis that I've had in my care the longest Which is a little bit over a year This is also the first phalaenopsis orchid that got very sick that did not die on me that is making a complete comeback Now the one that I had growing in water culture she made a comeback as well and even bloomed but this one right here is, um, honey, she was down to her last two leaves. So I was very scared. That's that setback leaf that I was talking about. She produced another setback leaf, but this one is a lot bigger than the leaf below. So it's like the Phalaenopsis orchid has rejuvenated itself or recreating itself all over. It had no roots, as you can see, very juicy, bright green roots all in the pot. We even have some area roots going on that is actively growing, looking for a new place here in this world. So, pal pals, I thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Like, oh my God, that was like 50 Phalaenopsis orchids. But I thank you that you watched the entire video. If I had $5, I would give it to you. Until next time.